Hello, my name is Joo Myung Vicky Chan. I was born in South Korea and received my bachelor's degree in chemical biology at UC Berkeley. At Berkeley, I was interested in bioinorganic chemistry, so I joined Professor Ken Raymond's lab to work on a supramolecular chemistry project. Upon graduation, to explore my interest in bioinspired materials, I worked under Dr. Ron Zuckerman at Molecular Foundry in Lawrence Berkeley National Lab to develop a new class of 2D biomimetic nanomaterials. These experiences led me to realize the immense potential behind being able to build molecules, so I pursued a PhD in organic chemistry at the University of Pennsylvania. As a joint student under Professors David Chenoweth and James Peterson, I developed novel and diverse fluorescent probes and applied them to study alpha-synuclein, a key protein implicated in Parkinson's disease. To expand my synthetic skills and to better understand biological phenomena related to human health, I decided to join Ron, Professor Ron Rain's lab at MIT. As a Life Sciences Research Foundation postdoctoral fellow, I'm currently developing a chemical strategy to deliver proteins into the cell as a novel therapeutic method to treat undruggable disease like cancer. The chemical strategy we're developing is called bioreversible esterification. More specifically, I'm using structurally diverse diazo compounds to modify protein surfaces to enable cell permeability. And upon cytosolic entry, those modifications are expected to be removed by intracellular esterases, making the whole delivery process traceless. So why is it important to deliver protein into the cytosol? If you look at today's pharmacopoeia, among all the FDA approved drugs, 80% of the drugs are small molecules, and the remaining 20% of the drugs are proteins. However, essentially all of those protein drugs are antibodies or hormones that act on extracellular targets. While small molecule drugs are effective in antagonizing the activity of proteins, most of genetic disease such as cancers or diabetes are caused by a loss of function in the cytosol. Therefore, our goal is to replace damaged proteins by directly delivering functional proteins into the cytosol to combat undruggable disorders. One of the fundamental limitations in protein delivery is that proteins cannot spontaneously cross membrane due to columbic repulsion from highly anionic cell surface. Inspired by a pro-drug strategy that small molecule drug uses, we're developing a pro-drug-like mask to deliver proteins. As a mask, we demonstrated alpha aryl alpha diazo AMI compound can efficiently esterify carboxyl group in proteins such as aspartate and glutamate with high reactivity and selectivity in water. This esterification process will mask negatively charged protein surface by creating covalent ester bonds, making the protein more susceptible to penetrate negatively charged cell membrane. Upon cytosolic delivery, these ester bonds are expected to be cleaved by intracellular esterases to unmask proteins into their native form. To apply our chemical strategy in facile manner, I developed a rapid two-step synthetic route to generate alpha aryl alpha diazo amides under extremely mild conditions, which allowed us to create a library of diazo compounds to screen the most optimal mass for protein delivery. To further expand our utility of diazo compound, the, we rationally designed our probe for late stage protein modification. This new probe consists of a diazo moiety for protein conjugation, a thiol reactive group for late stage functional diversification, and an extended carbonate group to promote tracelet release from the protein. Instead of simply blocking the negative charge, this probe will allow protein modification with any ligands with thiol groups such as cell penetrating peptide for cytosolic delivery or a PEG group for increased protein stability. For the purpose of cytosolic delivery, protein modified with cell penetrating peptides will enter the cytosol and the reducing cytosolic environment will break down the labels to release native proteins. So in summary, our group is developing a powerful chemoselective labeling tools for proteins, which does not require protein engineering or any toxic catalyst to modify proteins. And lastly, it's bioreversible, allowing a traceless way to deliver native protein. Thank you.